the silence, <coughs> the silence brings us closer to one another and to God. I've incorporated it into speeches. Silence. But now, I'm My brain silences, put, put silences um, in my speech. Um, in the brain, I get a concept and for the concept to to go out it goes through a dressing room and the dressing room is dressed with the, the clothes are speech and that is right there the where the brain is damaged so, there will be long silences in my speech, but only about five minutes are, are in my mind, are looking for word and the rest is ma is the surfing the silence just the ah you'll find it good so this this infraction is for benefit for all of us. If you want to surf the silence with me, <coughs> the way the outside silence like that ah there that's ah Surfing the silence. When you surf the silence out here, let it let it take you in through the surfing, in through the into the inner silence. Because the I you say, I, I, that is 
silent awareness that I, like I hear, the hearing goes on, and I aware what my ears are registering. Silent I, you say, I, I, I. We all have the I ego. Ego I, this is Ramdas. That's, that's ego. Speaker, audience, We're, these are our roles. See, it's really quite easy. <laughs> hmm. And when we're, when we're the silent being inside, we witness roles, ego, When I was a psychologist, um, one life back, I used to think that I, I was my, my ego. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? I used to be, my I was my roles, professor, lover, man. Jew, American. That was who I was. And those were, they, was, they were like cl clothing. They were, the ego is software for 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 running the for running the this mechanism this mechanism has to work on this plane Ah, uh, I smile. That's that one. Hmm. And then the witness or the soul. See, 
I ha am and you are, we are souls. Now, let's see. I took, I'm, I'm a soul. And I came into this incarnation. And this incarnation has its own um, program. Now, how does my soul treat, or how does me as soul tra treat this where I got stroked? My guru a woman a woman was um, visiting with him and she said, Oh, she said, Maharaji, oh my life has been so much suffering. That he could hear the tone in her voice. And he said, You know, suffering has brought me closer to God. Hmm? That's a little thump. Here's my guru, and I have a, a relationship, a relationship with him, although he's dead. And from him, I receive grace. But then the stroke, the stroke, my guru giving grace, stroke, grace, stroke, grace, stroke, grace, stroke, grace, stroke, grace. Stroke. I've I've got a terrible lot. You know, great. You know, stroke. I watch people come to me in a wheelchair. I come and they come and they uh, wheelchair and all. I, I'm in the wheelchair, and they have l long faces. Oh, 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 what a, oh. Can you imagine being that stimulus that that... <laughs> I mean, yeah, well. <laughs> and I look through their minds and me, and they, I am a poor, pathetic soul.
body. 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 I used to, I, um, I spend a, t a, uh, spend a, a good deal of time working with dying people, sitting at the bedside of dying. It's the way I can get hold of the fact that I'm going to die. It's a wonderful thing, by the way, if you ever have any chance to, to sit by the bedside of dying persons. It's a wonderful sadhana, it's a wonderful um, practice to to get close to God. So I would come, say, uh, somebody that had AIDS. I come into a, into a room that had that person. The, the surrounding, surrounding this person and I come into the field, I'm not going to go I'm not going to respond to the AIDS This person has stigma in our society. A, an opportune um, um, illness. I can see all his, her, I can see their roles in the society. But I can also see a soul, just like me. And he has I say to them, you picked a hard incarnation. Mm. You, soul, came into this particular incarnation. So I said to my guru, he and I talked together, uh, and he's dead. <laughs> so this is your, your grace. This is, this is grace. Well, he said, I told you, suffering brings you close to God. Oh.
silence brings you close. So that's from the sickness. There. Look at how, how what a, a, a stroke, a stroke this is. In the past, the pre-stroke, I've written books that, well, one of them called How Can I Help? Now, I've got to say, how can you help me? <laughs> because the, the, the one I was before the stroke got a, little, a lot of power gratification for help, from helping. I bet some of you have that. Uh, let me help you. Mm. Now, all I'm I can't get up up to, to bed without help, the toilet without help. What this is doing is teaching me what it is to be helpless. To what it is to be with, without without power in this powerful power powerful um, culture. Hmm. There's another one I'm, go I'm going through. Um, I'm getting old. Some of you, I notice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Isn't it funny that we have a culture that respects youth and when we get old you get you you're uh, well if you get old in our culture you're blamed for the economics. <laughs> you're, 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 you're portrayed in the in the in the uh, television. Um, you're being um, cute. 
and um, ineffective. The um, It's, it's, hmm. it's, hmm. if you were getting ready for a trip, a, a, a tri trip, trip, well, And you, from A to B, and you were at A, you would want to get experiences which 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 uh, which be ness uh, which which would be with beness when we get old We are getting ready, getting ready for B, which is, which is dying by goodbye culture. Goodbye. I'm getting, I'm le leaving there. Oh. I'm going to leave that, that power, that youth all that and I'm going to turn my eyes to the next place uh, um Stephen and Andrea Levine and I have been working in the, which we call the Dying Project. And I'll tell you a story. I got uh, um, about twelve of us got together in Cambridge outside of Boston. And we were going to, um, we are going to have a hospice for, for AIDS patients. And, um, hmm. We had it. Hmm. 
we had found fine tuned it. I wanted to this this hospice to like a um, uh, like a monastery or like a an ashram and so that everybody that was in it was moving to God patients nar nurses doctors sweepers cooks all there they are in consciously at this this institution to God you come here to this institution bring you to God. So, we were, we were, hmm, we contracted that the state of Massachusetts would give us a million dollars for this project. But the state person um, I said, we've got a lot of patients, a pool of patients. Some of them are ready to are ready to be signed in to a God project. So let's pick them. So the state said, sorry, you have to pick the first serve. Well, So the state said, now you say you want doctors that, that, that are, that want to, want God and, and um, want to, this, this institution for God? Well, we are, we want to the best doctors. So it, it turned out, it turned out that it was a regular hospice with competent doctors and the first come, first serve. No ashram, no nothing. Hmm. A friend of mine, um, Peter Matheson's wife, 
Peter Matheson is a writer. She was, um, she was in New York, and she was She was a, a very, very fancy hospital. She had cancer. She was a member of the Zen community of New York. Her room in the hospital. Zen monks. Um, their robes. Bells. The doctors would come in and they, how are you doing? And they stopped cold for the, for the, for the disingenuous way in which they were, they were cheery sort of thing. And How are you? And her environment was strong, like this one is, like this one is. Now, I don't mean to tell you that doctors don't have the hands of God. Most of us have the hands of God. Most of us are not hmm. conscious of bringing God into our environment. Because because there's there's another another game played like I went to a meeting of ministers for hospice national hospice. And I said, I bet you are like the doctors on the football team. And you leave the, the you're leaving the, the, the running of the game to the coach. Are you leaving the game to the doctors? Yeah. Okay. I'm finishing. And they knew they had done that. 
it's because I, I'm, I'm uh, when you're dealing with dying you're dealing with A and B when you deal with dying many of us well we all have this this home this this ego home and then there's the home we're going to be going to like um, um, the Japanese pure Buddhism pure 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 land um, pure land um, they they put the dying person um, in a bed but at the far end they uh, they um, they put a a picture of the pure land that's they're going to we do pictures of our families or of our dog of you <laughs> we've got we are we're coming from <laughs> hmm. so Sickness, age, are propelling you, are propelling you heavenward. By letting loose the whole of that. I mean, I was a golfer. A holy person being a golfer, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was a golfer. People meeting me on the links. Hello, you look a lot like Rum does. <laughs> And then I was, I had my MG, my stick shift, didn't, my cello, my regular life, and I got stroked and stroked le le led me to free time it gave me My, uh, an appreciation of my body. An appreciation of my body. 
which, which helps me get to heaven. See? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Just like age now, age is l something that prepares one to go to be. I'm not worried about my role. which is most people are. That bye-bye, that bye-bye, I'm old. Old has wisdom. This culture has knowledge. Step by step by step by step, up, keeping knowledge in from out there. Wisdom, the God in us, the 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 intuitive intuitive wisdom I, I, um, I'm preparing another book, which, which is a joke, because no, I can't write, and I can't read, so it's interesting to pre prepare a book. It was a book about aging. And I, I started the book when I was, I don't know, um, 10 years ago. I that book was my my look at aging from a um, fifty five year old looking at aging <laughs> see? See? and that book was it was fearful it's fearful and when I I, I things the list listed I was afraid of it was sickness, strokes, etc. 
And then I found that the stroke itself is less fearful than the fear about it. Yeah. Oh, the st it's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get sick before I die. Oh. But then the sickness isn't so bad. When I was, um, I was in the hospital. I was numerous hospitals, but one one of them. The head of the hospitals came to visit. He said, "I'm around this hospital. I've." I've never had a place in this hospital that, that, that is peaceful. Why is your room peaceful? And he said, why can you have a stroke and, and you be peaceful? Yeah. And and I was hmm, I was lodging in my my soul and then this the, this brain and this stuff was um, it's like my MG <laughs> it needs a paint it needs a little you know needs a my engine job I said well I'm peaceful because I'm I have no um, I don't have any physical component me The doctor said, you are your brain. I said, my brain, <laughs> that's part of the mechanism that keeps me, uh, is the software, uh, the robot that That's this time and space thing. I said, no wonder I'm peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> mm. See, he was busy talking to a a man who's stroke, who's, who has stroke. And I couldn't find one. <laughs> I couldn't find one. Yeah. Yeah. I will... Sp sp Let me conclude.
you have and I have, we all have roles in society. Role wife, role mother, role role garbage collector, anybody. Role. Don't get hang, hung up in them. You have an MG. A temple for your soul. If you, if you, if you are a sweeper of the temple, that isn't good enough. You're also the temple deity. Deity. Let me we're all going to we aren't all we are going to age. There is one hmm. I I I um he's a very compassionate being and he said it you look old. Hmm? I said, I said, I said to myself, my gosh, he's, he's complimenting me. In that culture, in that culture, old is respectable. In our culture, it is not. Because we are collecting things from the outside and it takes good youth, youth to that, to that. Like my, my computer has over the, the screen, you cannot you cannot you cannot you you will I'll give you the gist of it you can't teach old dogs new tricks <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 computer literate like that. Okay. Um. My father had an interesting line. I, I, I've developed it. I'm taking over my father's um, um, age. <laughs> so he said, uh, oh, he's chair. He'll sit down in a chair and he'll, there we are. <laughs> uh, 
and then he'll step. There we are. And bring this into. There we are. And that that's a capturing of of age. Age. There we are. Yes, there we are. So there we are. Thank you.